The Witcher 3 just got a next gen upgrade and I figured now's the time to get the Platinum. I've never played this game in my life, so I have 0% of the trophies. The difficulty is 7 of 10, it says 110 hours, and the percentage is 0.1. We're in for a long ride. Step 1, play through the game on the hardest difficulty. Definitely will make my playthrough a lot harder, which you'll see, but that's another story. Oh my gosh. This is like crazy hard, I'm getting destroyed, bro. Like, I'm getting double teamed. And I died again. They deal so much damage. I'm so dead. Bro, how am I supposed to, I can't even get past the first group of enemies in the game. Oh my gosh. This difficulty is no joke and I found that out later on during one of the several boss fights. I can't beat this guy. Oh my god, I don't know how to beat him! But before beating him, we have to get through these first enemies of the game. Can we at least do that? Oh, 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 oh. No, I'm getting triple teamed. This guy's one shot right here. Dupe oh, no, 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 I'm one shot, I'm one shot, I'm one shot, I'm one shot, I'm one shot. Oh, 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 two left, two left, two left. Oh, 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 oh. You're getting way too close, buddy. I'm, I I'm not letting this guy hit me. I'm literally one shot right now. One, 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 one left, one left. There's no way, bro. I'm not dying here. No. Yes. We got past the first enemies ever. Let's go. From then, I went on to see a man get absolutely destroyed by a horse to fighting a royal griffin and then to getting my first trophy. Lilac and Gooseberries, my first trophy on this game. There's no going back now. At this point, my job is just to continue playing through the story while also looking out for missable trophies. One of them comes in the form of this trophy called Card Collector, where you have to get all the Gwent cards in the game. What you're seeing right here is Gwent, and that Card Collector trophy plus others are all attached to this game. Some of the cards you can buy directly from merchants, while others you have to earn them by beating players. It's a pretty tedious process, I'm not gonna lie. In the meantime, I found myself getting better at the combat while playing on this hardest difficulty. Good enough to get this trophy where you you have to beat someone up without taking any damage. Let's go! Fist of the South Star. From there, I wanted to complete more story related trophies while also sometimes doing some combat related ones by accident. Ooh! Care more and trained! Oh, oh, what is that? What is that? Perform 10 effective counterattacks on a row without getting hit or parrying. Okay. At some point, I had to compete in a Gwent card game tournament for a trophy, and this guy here was talking crazy. No, I'm not swiving forfeit the round. I shall squash him like a louse. And he was a tough opponent, but eventually I came out on top. GG's bro. And you were talking crazy, bruh. The mutant cheated. I'll gouge those devilish eyes out with my bare hands. He was a sore loser, so he wanted to fight me for losing? And if I beat him, I'm able to move on into the last opponent I need to beat in the card game for the trophy. To this oh my gosh, I'm already half health. This guy's level 27, I'm only level 16. He's mad cause he cause he lost. He's a little Oh yeah, I'm, I'm so dead. I'm under leveled. I'm not supposed to be doing this right now. I can't heal or nothing. No! Oh, yeah. That's it. Load most recent save. We just get another chance to fight him. Okay. Let me keep parrying him. This is working a lot faster too. Look, he's like halfway down. Excuse me of cheating one more time. See what happens. Parrying was was a lot better of a strategy. He's about to he's about to go down. Oh, I'm weak. I'm weak. He's one shot. He's literally one shot. Ha! Ha! Go to sleep, buddy. After knocking that man out cold, I went on to beat the final opponent of the tournament. The victory. Thank you. And we get Gwent Master. That missable trophy is done. And as I was progressing through the story, I made sure to not miss out on any of the cards I need for the missable card collector trophy. So I went around the world challenging opponents and buying cards off merchants. Until I finally got it. Yes! Card collector! Now after several hours of playing through the story, here we are at the boss fight that I showed earlier. We must beat him to advance and get to the final boss, because this guy's not even the final boss. But playing on the hardest difficulty really made me struggle with this. He just summoned a... An elemental like that? Yep, I died. Nice. Turns out he can hurt his own, uh, his own spawns. I might have a chance at this. Okay. As soon as I say that, literally, I seem to have trouble dodging this attack where he summons multiple of these light balls and shoots them at you, and it was causing me to rage. How do you avoid that attack? I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Yeah, oh my gosh. I can't beat this guy! Oh my god, I don't know how to beat him! That was until I tried dodging that attack by rolling instead. Ooh, I think that, that rolling tactic is working. Whew! Hit him before he got it off. It's working! Whew! It's working! I can finally dodge that consistently. 
Yes! Aggressiveness! Oh man, I didn't even see him here. Come on, he keeps running away. He's so scared. Okay, he's on his last bar of health. Yes! Don't teleport away anymore! Yeah, he can't, he's literally taking a beating. I don't know if this is supposed to happen. Yep. Cutscene! And he's done. Yeah, that man is cooked. Now that we beat him, we can go on to the end game boss for a trophy. And here I'd have to be especially careful because he can one-shot you on this hardest difficulty. Oh, he one-shot me! Back to square one. We had to go. Oh, I gotta go through all of that over again. That's so annoying. I'm not. I'm not losing this again. I'm not losing this again. And this will turn out to be a long, drawn-out fight. His main attack is to teleport and try to swing at you. After seeing this so many times, I got used to it and was easily able to dodge it. He has these two other attacks that leave him vulnerable to getting a free hit, so I took advantage of those moments too. And after what seemed like an eternity, I made it towards the end of the boss fight. Definitely don't want to die here because that would be a long fight. I'd have to restart. No, bro. Can't move. He's hitting me with a combo. Lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in. Come on! Whew! Okay. He's so low. Free hits, free hits. Whenever he does his attack, it's free hits. At least one free hit, guaranteed. You trying to one-shot me? Funny man. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I talk trash. He's running away? There's no chance he runs. He's actually running away. Follow, in, follow him into the portal. Okay, we're back here again. Scenery's not gonna save you, buddy. Like, we can fight on the ship, we can fight over there, you're still done. Yeah, he's like one shot. He has to be like one shot. Yes! Yes! After the fight, Geralt and I both hit the Tuesday slide to celebrate. The king is dead! Now there was one final boss I needed to beat for the game completion trophies, but it wasn't as hard as the other ones. Which lady's about to be down? And she's down. Passed the trial trophy. Finished the game on any difficulty. We're getting another one. Ran the gauntlet. Finished the game on the blood and broken bones or death march difficulty. And walked the path. Finished the game on the death march difficulty. Three trophies right there, man. The game is finally done. That took me like a week. That and all the missable trophies. Well, we still have one more to do, but I'm pretty sure we haven't missed it. We can do it in free roam. We should be good. Okay, now that the story is done, we can move on into step two, which we need to do a lot of Witcher contracts, which are just hunting down beasts. This is an example of one of them. After completing this, I would get a trophy. Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Oh my gosh. He's almost done. Yeah, I, was, I tried to say down and dead at the same time, and that's what I, that's ugh, that's what you heard, and I can't speak. I'm, I'm like one shot right now. He's doing it again. Come on, I can't see anything. Come on, he's so weak. I don't know what he's doing. Yes, beast down. Whew. Barely any health remaining. And there are several trophies tied to slaying specific beasts. But there's also a trophy for completing every single Witcher contract. And as I was working on that, something tragic happened. Yeah, my game froze. Nice. No way. No way. Bro, my game froze and I, it's not letting me load back in. Like, I think my stuff got corrupted. Hit load game and see if there's like an auto save. Oh yeah, look, auto save slot. Yeah, he's gonna make sure I choose the right one. Bro, I can't play! Oh my gosh, no way. Um, try loading one of the older ones. Like that, like that's like from 10 minutes prior, like 45 minutes prior. Yeah, see, look, there's a picture for that one. Oh. Oh man, bro, that scared me. Thank God I didn't have to restart all my progress because I was over 100 hours into this. But after that, I put the Witcher contract trophy on hold and instead started going for the fist fighting ones. For these, you just have to beat up several people, but the last one you need to beat up a rock troll. It was actually kind of tough. Oh. Why do I keep losing? But I think it was the next try where I kind of backed him into this corner where he could only do one of his attacks out of the multiple that he has. And I was basically able to just get a free win because of this. This was completely unintentional, but it worked. Let's go. Yes, we got Brawl Master. Here I was in this cave to collect a diagram to craft special armor and weapons for a trophy. But I felt like I went on a wild goose chase for this. All right, so we got to talk to this blacksmith after collecting those 
parts for the armor or whatever it is, the blueprints, whatever. And we go to, I think, Griffin Steel Sword and we just make this and we get the trophy. You picked up the first item in a set of Elite Witcher gear. Okay, well, that sword is just one part of the set, so crafting it is not enough for the trophy. All right, here is the armorer. So we're gonna talk to this guy. And through him, I was able to craft the pieces I needed for the trophy besides one sword I was still missing. I think we have the Steel Sword. We need the Silver Sword and, of course, I'm missing silver ingots. This guy, he, he better be selling them. I'm telling you, you better be selling them or else we're gonna have a problem. Yes, he's selling them right here. That's a meteorite silver ingot. Is that, would that count? Three of them is 1785. I don't know if I wanna pay that much. I've got 18,000. I'm just, let's just do it. Let's just do it. We're gonna buy it and hopefully it just works. And when I tried to craft, I was greeted by this. All right, we're talking to this blacksmith to see if he has the ingots. He didn't let me down last time. Bro, they don't sell silver ingots anywhere. They have iron ingots, meteorite silver ingots, steel ingots. Where are the silver ingots? Can I craft any silver ingots? Like, because, oh, I can, I can craft them. Okay, create one. I think I need three of them. Two, three. Yes, man. All right, so Griffin silver sword, I believe is the one we need. Here it is, craft it. Oh, finally, man. Now we equip it. And we get armed and dangerous. Now it's time to go for the level 35 trophy. This is a DLC mission. One of the many that I would have to complete to actually get to level 35. And here I'm in a pretty intense boss fight. As I try to beat this boss and get the trophy, I do want to tell you guys about the sponsor of this video, Manscaped. This dude has got like the craziest magic attacks ever. And I'm over here trying to roll and stuff. Manscaped makes great men's grooming and hygiene products. They actually sent me some of their products to test out. This product right here is the Lawnmower Trimmer 4.0. It's waterproof, cordless, and you can use it anywhere on your body. See, dudes like this in The Witcher could definitely use this trimmer because this man is disgusting. Okay, we're, we're a third done with his health bar. I need to get past his quest to get to level 35. This is very important that we beat this. Now with this trimmer, the blades are designed to specifically avoid cuts. Obviously you don't wanna get your stuff cut up. And what's really nice about it is you can bring it anywhere you go because it comes with a wireless charging dock and a travel lock feature. Oh my gosh, how am I taking damage? Pop a protective shield, roll at him, he ran away. Now Manscaped also makes hygiene products as well. They have stuff designed to protect against body odor and you know where. They sent me these two right here and they're actually good. Here in The Witcher 3, Geralt has a tendency to get freaky so I know he can definitely use something like this. This is honestly harder than like the main game bosses. This is a DLC quest, okay? We hit him a few times. Oh, he pushed me back. They also have something called the Weed Whacker, which you can use for your ear and nose. You also won't have to worry about getting cut with this, plus it's waterproof. It appears this man right here in the game has been using the Weed Whacker because his nose is clean. Now, everything I said comes together in one kit, along with a free travel bag and anti-chafing boxers. And these boxers are actually really good. I look forward to wearing these. Now, if this interests you, you can go to the link in the description and you'll get 20% off plus free shipping. Okay, let's finish off this boss. No, 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 no. Back up, back up. I don't want to have to redo this. Watch out for that tornado. That stuff does massive damage. He's so weak. Yes, we're hitting him. Yes, we're almost, we're, we're close to being done. Yes. Oh, look at that finisher. Now that that was over with, I just needed to complete this one more quest for the level 35 trophy. Munchkin, let's go level 35. Now that we're level 35, I think we should be able to get this trophy. I think it's called Dendrologist. We just have to buy every ability here in this branch. So I have 19 points. I'm just gonna splurge out and buy every one of these. Last one right here, Dendrologist. Now let's get back to the Witcher contracts. This is the last Witcher contract I need to complete for the trophy. And this is a level 35 beast, and I'm level 35, so this should get interesting. Hopefully, it's not too tough. You got a few hits on him. A few hits on him. Oh my gosh. Okay, he just took out half my, half my health in one shot. Okay, he missed. He missed. He's halfway down. Oh, I'm one shot. I'm one shot. I'm one shot. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Look, look, look. My health is going down so fast. No, oh, I died. Land on the floor, bro. Like, you're annoying flying around. Thank you, finally. Okay, we got, a, we got a good amount of his health down just right there with those swings. Yeah, we're doing some good damage. No! I'm already gonna die! Come on! Yes! Yes! We've slain the beast! Now we just need to return to the guy who gave us the contract for the trophy. And we got Geralt the Professional! 
All of the Witcher contracts are down. We're actually close to the platinum. This next trophy requires me to get 20 kills with the Axie sign. This allows you to mind control enemies so they attack the other ones. But this was a tough trophy. To cast a sign actually takes a few seconds, so every time I tried, I would always just get hit. Nothing seemed to be going my way with this. I can't possess. It takes way too long to cast a spell. In this game, when you control an opponent, you can see the color of his name changes. That's how you know I have control over him. Oh, oh right here, right here. Oh! Oh, we got one. I got one. He's going crazy. He's going crazy. Finish him. Finish him. Bro, this dude can't. All right. Why, like, why do you all suck? I got, I got one. Okay, bro. I need you to come through. Just take out one. And you got murked. And because that didn't work, I went to a bandit camp with humans to try on them instead. Yes, attack him. Get him. Yo, dude just got destroyed. Every man who I hack... He just gets, he just dies. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. Look at that, look at that. It happens every time. The person who I always take control over just gets absolutely slaughtered in one shot. Like, what am I supposed to do? These dudes are out here with undies, like, running around, like, what's... Look, every time. Swing! Huh, he did damage, he couldn't kill him, though. Go get him, go get him. Please get him. Turn around, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Bro, you suck, you literally suck. You, you're, you're a disgrace. Okay, how does this, this gonna work? Finish him! Yes! We got one! We got one. Okay, that's the trick. Get him! Oh, that's num number four! Yes! Yes! He got two of them! That dog just took out two! Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you so much. Stupid. I used you. I used you. After grinding for this for about an hour, I was able to get it. Go get him. Yes! Oh man, that took so long. The next combat related trophy required me to use a telekinetic blast to send 10 enemies off a cliff. Bye. Come at me, bro. Oh! Nice. Humpty Dumpty. All right, so we need to get a kill with the with three different methods: a sword, bomb, sign. There's multiple ways we can do this. So we got one sword kill like that. We want a sign kill, so we can just spam Igni on this dude, just burn him to death. Do it again. If you would kindly stop hitting me. Okay, he's down. All right. Well, I don't know if that I don't know if this constitutes as one fight because the third dude wasn't here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit him with Igni, and then we're gonna. Okay. Uh, we can do crossbows. Crossbows work. And triple threat, just like that. The last combat trophy we needed for the platinum was to get 50 headshots with a crossbow. I shot their body multiple times until they were one shot, and then aimed at their head with the slow down time ability to get the headshot. About one hour later. Ah! Oh, finally! Finally! Yes! The limits of the possible platinum! Witcher 3! This game took me 169 hours. Reminds me of how long it took me to get the Assassin's Creed Valhalla Platinum Trophy. If you haven't seen that video, you can press here to watch.